Good kitten internet. Uh, this is the fifth video I've recorded today. And I recorded three yesterday. Yeah, um, so that means that I believe with this video I'm going to be inked ahead of what's live. Because I think episode five just went live, and this is episode 13, 14? Let me look again really fast. Um, 14. And yeah, episode five just went live. So, yeah, I am nine ahead right now, so I am almost three weeks ahead, which is actually where I wanted to be because I, at some point, will be getting married, and I'm not going to be recording videos while I'm going to Norway, and I'll be gone for two to three weeks, so hopefully sooner rather than later. Indigenous life forms. Okay, you're invading. It's fine. Production complete. Another Jean Jack factory. Oh, Jean Jack and the Beanstalk. Maximum you waited so long to eat us, Elthidre. Almost we pruned you, as we may yet prune your branches. Lady Deidre Sky, Conversations with Planet. All right, so we get a few things for this. Um, not just the Temple of Planet base facility, which is reducing the effect of industry on planet's ecology, as per all the rest of them, um, and also extra level on um, planetary life forms or native life forms being created, but also Transcend, which is a newer form of talent. So it's a specialty unit. Um, the first faction to discover this gets free tech, and also the entire map would be revealed if it weren't for the fact that we've already revealed it for being the first in the space. And we increase energy production in fungus squares. So fungus is almost as good as a obelisk at this point. I think it's 212 instead of 222. But we have discovered yet another secret, which means free tech which I am going to immediately discover secrets of the manifolds for another free tech, because why not? Krilan taught me of the resonance and how to feel it. After much training, I could see the very surface under our feet, planet itself, is a living, fluctuating nexus of energy, violent, beautiful, and quite unstable. And I could also feel its cousins, distant mirrors on the other side of the space-time continuum, the far-flung manifolds. Prophet Cha Don, the Betrayer, and I. I should probably explain. So the name of planet for the progenitor race is Manifold 6. It's supposed to be the sixth manifold. There was an incident in one of them, um, known as Talseti, where it flowered and destroyed everything in its path. It's the previous flowering that I had mentioned in the last episode where... It didn't go so well. Um, and that's actually the whole basis behind the progenitors is that one of them wants to intentionally try to achieve that, what's called transcendence, and the other one's trying to prevent it at all costs. You will notice that there is a tech over here called Threshold of Transcendence. That is actually the last tech in the game. We're not that far from the end of the tech tree. And we discovered another secret. Um, let's go ahead and... Mm, I think you Daimonea. The happy life is thought to be one of excellence. Now an excellent life requires exertion and does not consist in amusement. If you Daimonea or happiness is activity in accordance with excellence, it is reasonable that it should be in accordance with the highest excellence. And this will be that of the best thing in us. Aristotle, Nicomachean Ethics, Data Links. I know they said Eudaimonia. I think it's Eudaimonia, but whatever. Anyway, um, there's two very important things about Eudaimonia. One is the Eudaimonaic Future Society, which we'll get to in a moment. But this base facility is... Um, the secret project I am going to rush immediately. And there's a good reason for it. It makes where your base is no longer drone riot. Drones never riot at your bases. All your probe teams get plus two morale. <laughs> Not that we need even more morale, but um, T-Path Matrix is ridiculously powerful because drones don't riot. 
So we don't care about drones anymore. You know, all of those problems that we were having with drone rioting earlier, where I have to dedicate a chunk of my economy for psych in order to be able to survive. Don't have to worry about it. You know how I'm having to limit the hab of a base constantly in order to not have infinite drone riots, basically. Don't have to worry about that either. At that point, my building order turns into hab complex almost immediately and then hab tome afterward once we get the tech. So yeah, it's really important. Also, we get side defense. So side defense is armor for our units that whenever they get attacked, they use psi instead of um, the traditional combat structure. Normally that's a bad thing because remember on Psy, the attacker gets an advantage. Um, roughly plus 50% advantage. Thing is though, Psy combat, there's no non-combat penalty on... All right, so normally there's a non-combat penalty on units that don't have a weapon. Um, so we're talking about uh, colony pods, we're talking about formers, we're talking about um, supply crawlers. There's no non-combat penalty when you're using Psy combat. So the Psy defense is what I almost exclusively use on those non-combat units. And all of a sudden, I'm way better at defending myself than normal. On top of it, the AI doesn't know what the hell to do with my Psy defense. It's just very confused. So you Eye. Um, this is one that I frequently go after because I normally don't care about morale. Uh, it will give us economy, economy plus two. Remember, that's the plus one in every square. Notice that the breakthroughs drop the two on either of these. Um, it'll give us increased growth, which we don't care about anymore because we already have um, cloning vats, but also minus 20% industry, or 20% cost due to the increased industry. Eudaimonea is really nice, and I frequently run it even if both cybernetic and thought control are free. So I should mention that Eudaimonea is the um, the book that Eudaimonea or Eudaimonea is described in Smack as effectively the Society of the Book Brave New World by Aldous Huxley, just like Thought Control is 1984 by George Orwell, and I'm still not sure what Cybernetic is supposed to be a reference to. Maybe Terminator? Don't know. Um, yeah. The future societies are not good. I mean, they're good mechanically, but you know what I mean. Uh, yeah. So we're going to continue thought control for a little bit longer because we are at war right now. Oh, actually, we could go with... No. We're going to continue it until we get T-Path Matrix because we're depending on that police stat right now. Once we have T-Path Matrix done, we no longer care about police. Dump it. Don't care. All right. We're either doing quantum power or self-aware machines. Let's go with self-aware machines. Sunny dome, those caves of ice, and all who heard should see them there, and all should cry, beware, beware, his flashing eyes, his floating hair. Weave a circle round him thrice, and close your eyes with holy dread, for he on honeydew hath fed and drunk the milk of paradise. Sammy Which is Taylor opium. Coleridge. Data links. So that is, uh, Coleridge is epic on uh, Kublai Khan, where he was having an opium dream and got woken up part of the way through and thus couldn't finish the writing. Anyway, Paradise Garden. We've got more talents. Always nice. Um, we are going to start running Temple of Planet so we can increase our clean mineral limit Production because we need complete. it. We need it. Yeah. I'm going to have to go like that. So Transcend, you will notice, is plus two economy, plus two psych, plus four labs. Um, it's almost but not quite strictly better than Engineer. So we will start having lots of Transcends. Um, Nano Hospital. Production complete. Finally built another network node. You can probably drop all of those down and we can pick up one. 
That's oh, right. No, we need. It's going to have four more population. So I think if we pick up two, we'll be fine. We'll find out. Uh, tree farm. Maximum population reached. You've got super performers. We've got answers. Um, tree farm. And also network node. Maximum population reached. Drone rioting, as expected. We knew that was going to happen. It's max population is nine, so we only need one. So that's fine. We're going to change the that last one to an aquaformer. Maximum population reached. And another one that ain't population nine, which makes sense. They got taken one after the other. And one, two. This one is getting replaced with a C former as well. Production complete. Nutrient resources. Nutrient resources, nice. So I'm going to try to raise up that square for reference. So it's not like I'm trying to eliminate all C squares or anything. Although, honestly, C is not that great when you're not the pirates. Bot recovered. Two, one. Bot recovered. Zero. Indigenous life form. Maybe? Yay. Demon boil. Bot recovered. So many sonar pods. I don't care about sonar pods. Nobody cares about sonar pods at this point of the game. Everyone would have the map revealed because of the tech that we just gained. Actually, uh, no, we're, we don't have a huge amount of money right now. Oops, I didn't want to build a... Those are elite and veteran, really? I have elite formers. What is wrong with me? Four, five, six. Oh, I don't have a network node in here yet, do I? Might as well keep that up. It'll be fine. Indigenous life form. Numb? Numb. Mine. Indigenous life form. Ah, graphical glitches. There we go. Honestly, let's throw a sensor down. So I can stop seeing the fog of war there. It's bothering me. Alright. We need you to start continuing going down here. Uh, that's annoying. I can still get by you. Barely. But I'm going to be building a base nearby you, and that means that my water is going to be a little more limited. But still doable. Indigenous life form. Num? Ooh, that was tight. Indigenous life form. No. Also tight. I was low level, so that would explain it. Um, forest, forest, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Mount Planet's down there, neat. Dumb? Dumb. Mature boil, yes, let's level up my locusts, because they got built a while ago. Um, really, that tile is probably not very good. Yeah, it's 213. Even if I booted it again, it would end up being 313. Let's just make it a forest and be done with it. Build relatively relativity school. I can speak, I swear. Load C1. 
Let's check to see what our C1 looks like. Why do you keep switching to regular superformers? No, bad. Bad. Although, honestly, we don't need that many formers in this case. Just two is fine. Yeah, I'm building tree farms even in areas without... Just so I have... Um, whatchamacallit, uh... Um, just so I have increased clean minerals. There we go. You need a forest. You're holding. You're going to sit there for a moment or two. Road. And that sucker. So when I refer to key commands, I'm literally oops, using my keyboard. So N is the command for building a condenser. Indigenous life form. Um, you wouldn't expect too many indigenous life forms from an area that just grew out of, um, you know, volcano. Words are having problems tonight, aren't they? Oh, uh, notification, one moment. Okay. Okay, road, road. Save in case if this ends up Indigenous doing something dumb, off. that's fine. Turn complete. population reached. I really don't know what that glitch is. Alright, you finally finished your giant queue of colony pods. Let's start building some things. So, a hybrid forest, a temple of planet, gene jack, nano hospital, paradise garden. Maximum population reached. Right, you finished your paradise garden, build temple of planet. Production complete. And let's take a look at our bases. Mineral-wise, Dream Twister, no, we are not doing Dream Twister. We are doing T-Path Matrix, and we are hurrying this. We can't afford it, damn it. Um, Neckbone, Network Backbone. Jeez, Gagrid Memorial's gone downhill for growth, or for mineral production. guess I can start changing those food to forest. That would help some. Let's do that. Indigenous life forms. Nom that stack, please. Thank you. Yeah, there's no pods nearby. Uh, you need sleep bad. You need sleep bad. You can stir up some trouble. It's fine. All right. Let's maneuver you through this mess. Could just take the base. But I'm trying to be nice. I'm trying to not be aggressive in this game. See, now we have both a waterway and a landway. It's the ideal situation. Or is that? You're going to sleep there until you're healed. You're going to beat down that stack. Give me money. See how much money I'm getting from that? That was 150 energy credits because it counts every unit that was on that transport. Because I destroyed them. Um, You're going to flatten. Right. 
I don't need to remove fungus first. That takes extra time that I don't have to spend. I built the magnitude anyway. Okay. Whatever game. Okay. Um. Sleep for healing. Go back. So the default settings of Smack, by the way, um, when a unit this is usually used for needle jets, but when a unit is out of fuel, its default setting is to go back to its previous base, or at least the closest base. I have that disabled. I have a lot of things disabled, actually. Indigenous life. Dumb. Dumb. I did not need to tube there. Yeah, you're actually done over here. You're going to head over to there. You're going to sleep. Cannot wait until I can do orbital insertions. Then I can just drop colony pods wherever I want and be done. Turn complete. Alright, next turn. Production complete. Paradise Garden. Nice, nice, very nice. Uh you get to have Manifold harmonics. That is going to be essential. So right now we only have plus one planet, so all it would do is monoliths and fungus get plus one nutrient, plus one energy. But look what happens when you have three planet, which is something that we can do with cybernetics. Fungus becomes ridiculously powerful at that point. So yes, please. Yes, Project I want manifold initiated. harmonics. Without sensibility, no object would be given to us. Without understanding, no object would be thought. Thoughts without content are empty. Intuitions without concepts are blind. Immanuel Kant, Critique of Pure Reason, Data Links. Sorry, Zen Kitty's running around like crazy right now. Sometimes they're watching me. Boson Pete, Shift Foreman, Metagenics Biomachinery Division. I didn't know about the second part of the quote. That's creepy. So I guess the implication of this is this quote is actually by the machine itself, and this is by the person that's working on it. Neat. Um, so yeah, let's go through. Okay. See, this is what I mean by I usually see Reactor 4 before Reactor 3. It's because I usually end up doing this first. Um, yeah, let's just go straight to Maximum Reactor 4. It's fine. Reached. Everything's fine. How are you? Maximum How are you, reached. by the way? I haven't asked recently, and that's unfortunate. All right, you are definitely in... Hab Complex time. Because I believe Coast 2 already has... Yeah, it already assumes that I have Hab. So, delete all items. Hab. Maximum population reached. Speaking of Hab. Coast 2. Which is going to include more colony pods. Production We're going to start expanding again. And that line graph that we have is going to start climbing upwards again. Such a huge difference. Just look at the dominance difference at this point. And I'm not even doing anything special. I could have destroyed everybody by this point if I wanted to actually attack. The AI is insignificant in combat right now. Terraform but I don't want to. 
I mean, I am still going to be attacking Yang in a couple of turns, but I don't want to do it this turn. Ah, damn it. I forgot to set you to home. There. Yeah, might as well make him clean. In fact, actually, that was something I was planning on doing globally, but I didn't get a chance to. Um, yeah, just road. Slowly hobble back to the nearest fungus to heal. Wait, I don't need... I have self-replicating... I have the Nano Factory, that's what it's called. So, I don't actually need to do that anymore. I keep forgetting. So I'm going to raise the terrain over there. That will get rid of this little inlet, unfortunately, but that's okay. Bot recovered. Seen a fungal bloom. Of course you did, you dicks. You know what? Screw it. We're reloading. I don't want to Zingo see no fungal bloom with the tower there. That would have basically trapped the unit. And I don't want to deal with that. Um, yeah, Pork Race is basically done with that type of thing. You know what? You're going over here. Where are any more sea pods? There's some up here. Nutrient resources. Nutrient resources. Built. Invalid right, it's time. rocky, damn it, brain. You're just going to sit there because I do want that to be a good spot. Indigenous life forms. We're going to stop removing fungus at this point unless if it's on top of a minerals bonus. Because the game's going to crash on us. One moment. All right, let's try this again. Mod recovered. Really, you put it there again? Sure, monolith, whatever. You are going up to eternal reward. You know what? I'm actually going to put you somewhere else. I'm going to put you down here. Terraform complete. All right, finally got that stupid thing to its right spot. This transport ship is going to go back to Marine Institute to pick up the remaining colony pods. And let's start. Ah, uh, we got quantum first anyway. Heaven lasts long and earth abides. What is the secret of their durability? Is it because they do not live for themselves? That they endure so long. Lao Tzu, data links. All right. So, yeah, quantum power. It's the idea of splitting individual 
um, what was it? Uh, it's similar to fission power in this, according to theory, of basically splitting like quarks and so on, which, yep, that's not really a thing. Also, we get another base facility, which is increasing labs and econ by 50%, again. But we've got more. And there's a singularity. Yes, yes, we've all heard the philosophers babble about oneness being beautiful and holy. But let me tell you that this kind, this of, kind oneness of oneness certainly isn't pretty. And if you're not careful, it will scare, scare the, the bejesus, bejesus out of you. Anonymous lab technician, Morgan Link 3D Vision live interview. All right. So this allows you to build subspace generators, except that you can only build them as uh, the progenitor. And all the subspace generator does is if you have a certain number of them, you win. It's a progenitor unique victory condition, which there are no progenitor in here. That doesn't apply. So otherwise, it's just singularity which means we have a lot to go through. So you'll notice that there's something over here. That's because we actually ran out of unit slots. And keep in mind, the only time the game generates units for us is when we're going through a reactor upgrade. And we went through two, and this is what happens. So yeah, we're going to need to go with some money for a bit. Um, first off, we need to change our tech to the only one we can. Um, currently our tech is every two turns, but we're going to be dropping that like a rock. Because we need money to start doing, even without anything in labs, we are still getting a breakthrough every 18 turns. That is how ridiculous our setup is right now. <sighs> anyway, um, we need money badly. Because we need to start doing all of these upgrades. We're going to upgrade the units we care about. Cannot execute order. Uh, what? Okay, it's the numbers that we have to care about. Anything that is quantum needs to be upgraded to singularity, no matter what. Because we should not have anything quantum. There's no need to do that right now. Which means we're going to have a whole bunch of Mark II labeled things, unfortunately. Which that's the way the game labels things. Um, what are you? Trained Shard Invaders? Trained Shard Invaders Mark III, I guess. Like I said, we're getting rid of all of the quantum stuff. That'll give us a little bit more space. You're clean shard squad. So you're going to clean shard. I don't, it doesn't really matter. You're just clean. It'll be fine. There's just a lot that we have to go through. In fact, I'm going to pause this and I'm going to keep upgrading so we don't take up all of our time. Be back. And back. That took a while. That was about 15 minutes. Um, so I only have two units left that are obsolete that I'm not planning on doing anything with. All I've done is upgrade and prune the quantum and actually some um other reactors as well uh, i had a couple of fusion things that shouldn't have been there so all i have left are the things that i intended so my clean infantry for instance for my really crappy garrison that's still useful for police um we do have a couple of boats that are ridiculous um this has you know level eight armor just because um this also has level eight armor just because because the armor is effectively free See, it costs 90. Cost 90. Doesn't make a difference. Um, we do need to start working on some other types of units, though. Um, so this Singularity Transport is actually going to be obsolete. I just created it just so I could upgrade the existing ones. The reason why I want them Singularity is that their cargo hold is based off of their reactor 
So it's good to have large cargo. <clears throat> um, what we don't need is the Superformers MK2. Because it costs 120 because of the reactor. It costs 40 in fission and 60 in fusion. We really don't need that at all. So that is actually going to get... Re no, not that. That is actually going to get retired. Where there's none of the existing design. So this C former here, if we were to upgrade it from fusion to quantum, it would cost more. So there's no reason for us to upgrade it. But fusion actually costs less than fission. That's the reason why we're keeping that around. Um, this colony pod actually costs less in quantum and the same in fusion. <clears throat> so we're actually going to use this as quantum. Yeah, we're going to make this quantum. Can I put side defense on? Yes, I can. Sweet. So we're upgrading to a tier below. <clears throat> this is what I do when it comes to these units, is that I try to figure out what's actually cost efficient. Like, this isn't cost efficient. This isn't even cost efficient, and honestly, we don't even need this unit anymore. <clears throat> but we're almost out of money, so. Um, what we do need to do, though, is that we need to make a hover tank. We haven't done this yet. Technically, we can just make a hover tank that's a scout hover tank for the prototype. It's not particularly useful in my mind, so I don't want to. Um, I want drop pods on the hover tank, and I want it clean. That's going to be a really expensive vehicle. Oh, right. I haven't done that. <laughs> yeah, these all cost the same. They're all 140. And shielding. Where does shielding no longer make sense? Okay, res 8 costs too much. But photon wall does not. So we're going to have a drop shard behemoth. Hover tanks are really nice. I like hover tanks so much. Especially when I have the ability to orbitally insert and just drop them anywhere on the map. And they can move at the same turn that they drop. So you drop them and attack twice. They're weaker when you drop them and attack in the same turn. But that's fine. Uh, the other thing that I'm going to want is a drop supply. So, um, that's 140, yep. So it looks like fusion reactor is going to be the cheapest. Do I already have drop supply? I thought I had made those retired. I don't, okay. It's being weird. Uh, and... Honestly, if invisible worked, I would absolutely want that. It doesn't work, though. So, And I don't care about the reactor because supplies are clean to begin with. What can I get away with? Uh, nothing. Okay. So we're going to do a drop supply MK3. There. We have constructed our units. We are at Lepore again. We only have 232 energy. This is why I went, yeah, I'm going to need a turn or two to recover financially. I will financially recover eventually. Terraform unlike the meme. Um, time to throw down a couple more boreholes. Hold. Bunk. Let's connect up things. You're done. Um, <clears throat> head him over to the Library of Planet, I suppose. Again, I am going to replace the fungus wherever there is a bonus on. So that will, in fact, be replaced. Bonk. 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 Whatever happened to the unit that was supposed to be heading up there? 
Oh, that's no, not that one. What what happened to it? Where did I put it? Oh well. <laughs> ah, itchy nose. Indigenous life. Nom. Nom. All right. Oh, I just upgraded it this turn. Hence why they have much longer ranges than they used to. 10 to 5. Sure, why not? Wait, wait. You're a Psy unit. Nom. There's one that's going there. Nom. Nom. Also, we fully heal in one turn now, which is always nice. Uh, do I want military unit there? Not really, no. Turn complete. Okay. Children Creature reports population surge. That would be nice if, you know, my max population wasn't already that high. Well, poop. I was hoping it wouldn't attack there. Something popped up. Maximum population reached. I don't know what. The odds are 9 to 8, but in reality, the odds are actually higher because they're using fusion and I'm a native unit. Hence that. Alright. It's time. Hmm. Yeah, go ahead and take that out on your way. moment. I need to look at something. Okay. Uh, Alany pod. Oh, ideally, I would actually like you here. Or actually, here would be perfect if it weren't for the weird coastal issues with that, but that's fine. Oh, no, there's not actually perfect. Ah. Well, I mean, having a borehole there that I can supply crawler is not that big of a deal, although how much left of the game is there going to be for me to supply crawler? Maybe I should just go there. Just going there instead. Uh, road. 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 Bot recovered. Money. Nothing wrong with money. This time you actually get homed. Build. Zarya Sunrise. Load. No, the one. And where else am I going to move you? Where else do I want colonies at? I mean, the answer is everywhere, but... Do want to throw down a colony over here, but there's no spot for me to put it is the problem. So you can't build a colony right next to another colony, even though one's on land and one's in the water. So I'm not doing that. Over here, I suppose. Although that's going to be building there. That's going to expand that a bit. Over here. Now I'm getting really far away again. Ah, this island. Piss off the UN some? Sure. They don't own the islands.
I did end up building a mag tube there. I keep doing that. Um, I don't know what else to do with this unit. I guess I can build... Indigenous life forms. Which one call it? Um, rivers. Drilled aquifer. That's the term. Speaking of drilled Drill aquifer. Complete. Also, build a tube there. That's a really dumb way that you did that AI. So aquifer is for reference. If there's a river that goes through your area, it's plus one energy per tile, assuming it's not fungus. I think it was specifically not fungus. Um, road. Road. Indigenous life forms. Where the hell am I going to put you? Do I have any new bases nearby? That would be nice. Uh, going to have some. Yep. We're going over there. Because why not? Rest. I should have rested away from the... Damn it. Did it again. All right. Indigenous life. Of course it is. Another monolith. Why not? Raise area. Raise area. Raise area. I believe that means next turn it will actually raise. So I'm not quite at the point where I want to plant fungus. Because the problem is when you plant a forest, it's actually minus one eco damage for terraforming eco damage. When you plant a fungus, it's not, which is really weird to me. Um, so I'm a little leery to plant a fungus because of that. But I will eventually just start planting fungi everywhere. Makes it a lot easier to think because the answer is always plant fungus. There would be zero terrain types that it's not plant fungus unless if there's a um, resource on top of that tile. Once more, what the hell am I doing with all these things? You know what? Maybe I should just go into these areas and prep them for when I inevitably need to do something with it. Just stay still for a turn. You'll be fine. Uh, mineral. Einstein would turn over in his grave. Not only does God play dice, the dice are loaded. I love that quote. Chairman Shen Jiang, looking God in the eye. Anyway, um, so yeah, basically using probability to predict random events. It's a thing. It's fine. Everything's fine. How are you? Uh... Life um. Indigenous life form. I would like to go back to actually doing tech again soon. That would be nice. Nom. Bot recovered. Turn complete. Okay, let's see if we can rush any of this. T-Path Matrix is three turns. We should be able to rush this. Um, 77 times four. 
77 times 4 is 154 times 2, which is 308. So that means 364. Yep. Also, that is a lot of eco damage. Uh, network backbone. Request confirmation. Yes, we can hurry this one as well. 33 times 4 is 66 times 2, which is 132. 916 minus 132 is 16 off of 800, which is 784. Yep. And manifold harmonics. This one's too early. Energy. Yeah. Although we can try to get as much resources as possible. All right, we're gonna have two text, uh, two secret projects this turn. Oh, freaking spore launchers. Kill Yang, yes. Maximum population reached. I guess we're doing nano metallurgy because we don't have a choice. Even though that those are generally terrible Project things. Complete. Network backbone time. Of course we'll bundle our Morganet software with the new network nodes. Our customers expect no less of us. We have never sought to become a monopoly. Our products are simply so good that no one feels the need to compete with us. Yes, that was totally a Microsoft reference. Um, so back in the 90s, Microsoft was very well known for being the subject of a massive antitrust case. This is what it's referencing. Also, congratulations, we have the network backbone, and oh boy, is this going to help our research. Um, Maximum population so keep in mind, we're still in money-making mode. Uh, this will be the last turn that we're in money-making mode, or monkey-making mode. I don't want to make monkeys. Uh, you definitely need Jean Jack. You are bad need of minerals. From the delicate strands, between minds we weave our mesh. A blanket to warm the soul. Lady Deirdre Sky, The Collected Poems. I'm not sure what the video has anything to do with the telepath matrix. It looks pretty, but, um... Let the yeah. Gaines preach their silly religion. But one way or the other, I shall see this compound burned, seared, and sterilized until every hiding place is found and until every last mine worm egg, every last slimy one has been cooked to a smoking husk. husk. That husk. species shall be exterminated. I tell you, exterminated... Academician Proker Zaharov, Lab 3 Aftermath. Yeah, so that's the only quote that you will ever hear Zach be pissed. Um, so apparently, plot-wise, the event that happened where we actually had a mindworm attack a base, in the plot, that was actually happening to Zach to the base Lab 3. And he got pissed. Um... It's the quote for Temple of Planet, even though that doesn't make any sense. I still love the quote. Um, that no longer needs to be food. We really don't need food right now. Production complete. Nano hospitals. So much eco damage. Production complete. Coast 2. Maximum population reached. Before we go Coast 2, we're going to build another military unit. This is getting ridiculous. You know what? Why not? Production I don't complete. care. Looks 
Hopefully we win. Oh, we did. Good. That's much better. Okay, you're going to solar. Also, we need to change some things. Like, for instance, we have no need for thought control anymore because police rating does nothing for us. We are going cybernetic. So you will notice that there is a distinct upgrade in our income. Um, we gain an extra hundred money per turn purely from efficiency. But watch what happens when we do this. It's the exact same. Isn't that interesting? We're still at two tech per turn. So first, let's do it this way. So we are gaining 3,171 tech per turn. And tech costs 5407. So two turns easily. Three thousand five hundred thirty-seven, and tech costs the exact same. That's weird. That shouldn't be the case because we have an extra plus two science, don't we? And lab speed should be sped up by another ten percent. It's not more than that because we're, we have plus six science. It only goes up to plus five. But. Remember when we were having problems with these bases over here? We're almost at 50% now instead of it was 20%. We're doing way better on efficiency now. And I bet that... Yeah, we're doing much better on efficiency. It's still not great. And wait another turn, and it's probably going to be significantly better. Um, you are pissing me off. I actually don't want that unit, but I'm not seeing another better unit for this. That's a better unit. Request confirmation. Just build it. And throw in a great chapter. But. Oh, yeah. Um, we can look at our citizenry. We don't have to care about any type of hab limits or anything like that. Just go wild. You will never run riot. It's fine. So anything that we have not max population. Just go ahead and uh, we're actually at maximum population being held for that. That's kind of funny. Um, anything at all. No longer care. This will actually be decreasing our science a little bit. But it will be increasing our product production, which is what I care about right now. So like this is science 13, putting it back, it's science nine, but our production increases by three. We will worry about gaining other stuff later. We want production up high as possible so we can just start doing things. Invalid Terraform command. Yeah, you're done. Um, build a condenser, um, all this area is fully terraformed at this point. I don't even know what I'm going to do with anything. Probably going to have to start disbanding some units. Okay, um, you need to get a borehole. There's a borehole there. 
and you're going to extract minerals. Let's double check, make sure things are okay. Four eco damage. Go like that, it'll be fine. You need to sleep. You can move around. Wave your hands around like you do, just don't care. Oop, no. Bonk. Ranged combat! Okay, um, where am I going to put you? Let's go collect a pod. You have fungus. You have fungus everywhere. We're going to connect up with the park. Pod but... recovered. Hi. I have nine moves left. There are five units left in there. I'm fine. Come back, report. I still have five more moves. So let's go ahead and pick off some of those. That's four, three. Uh, which of these two do I care more about? Your, I do not care about artillery. Two, one. Unit max required ability. Mine. Hi, Yang. Sup. Maybe you shouldn't have sucked so much. Except that instead, I am actually going to have that. Request confirmation. That's it. So expensive. There's a chance that I might just have a bunch of missiles fire and destroy me there. If it happens, it happens. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So Yang's gonna be pissed. It sucks to be him. No. Oh, you're surrendering. I only took one of your bases. Although I guess I did take bases earlier. Um, you know what? I'm actually okay with this. I'm all for the surrender. Uh, please declare war, uh, declare peace with Miriam because you're both surrendered to me at this point and thank you for the money. You don't have any new techs. All right. Yep, treaty of friendship with the believers. That's nice. So I did not even get a chance to invade your homeland. Um, And it's at your capital. Damn. I can't take that secret project from you. Not without declaring war on you. And I was planning on doing that, but honestly, that's so far away because that is really far away compared to my home. So, oh well. Well, I guess we don't have to worry about Yang anymore. In fact, we only have one person who's not allied with us at this point. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna call for an election. Oh, hey, would you look at that? Everybody's wanting to vote for me, and I have almost double the votes of Lal. Tra-la-la-la-la. I am now governor. You have been elected planetary governor. As governor, you hold an executive veto in the planetary council, which can block all by unanimous vote of the remaining members. You gain plus one energy and commerce transactions at each base from the increased commerce global agencies bring to your bases. Your planetary bureaucracy, the nominal world government, provides you with an infiltrator information at each of the other factions, so we can now actually look at everybody else and see what they are doing with other people. So you're running demo free knowledge, okay. You're running demo green survival. Really? You only have survival? Okay. What did Yang end up with? Please state planned. That's normal for Yang. 
And Miriam is still Frontier. Uh, frontier Simple. Not even using Free Market anymore. You're just bad. Um... Honestly, I'm probably just going to give back this port to Yang. Because, I mean, I'm getting 10% out of it. I just want to heal up and then head back and I'll give it to him. Um, let's see, what else can we do for this? We can get more money with the Unity Fu Fusion Core. Um, can peel you and Charter and start killing each other. Uh, global Trade Pact, actually, that's a good idea. Let's do a Global Trade Pact. Hey, look, it passes. It's almost as though... Almost everybody's allied with me. And the only person who isn't? Yeah. So we're doing much better on things now. Our tech per turn is 3,500-ish of the 5,400. We still haven't had a turn change from when we constructed those things, if I remember right. Um, yeah. There we go. Now... Consecrated Waters is... It is still on land. How did you manage... The, oh, it's not adjacent. Damn it, me. <sighs> well, this spot is. Mineral resources. Unit max required ability. Cloned mine worm. I'm okay with this. All right, I wanted to go up. Mineral resources. Nice. And uh, where's action? Turn unit control. Congratulations, believers! You get a shiny new former. Because what else am I gonna do with it? Was going to cube. Invalid terraform command. It's already adjacent to a river? Oh yeah, I guess it is. Um I guess I'll queue over here. Just throwing rivers down as you do. This is the turn that ever ends. Yes, I know it's beyond time. Just trying to finish the turn. My turns are taking forever at this okay. point. All right. I hope you've enjoyed this internet, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.